Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm super excited because we're going to be talking about one of my favorite places in the world which is French Polynesia. about the French Polynesian islands. There's a population amongst all of the islands, which is over 100 islands spread across the French Polynesian islands that has a total population of just under 300,000, about 286,000 to be exact. Now, you may or may not have ever heard of the French Polynesian Islands, but I am sure, I am certain that you have seen photos of it. Specifically Bora Bora, that's probably the most famous portion of French Polynesia, as well as Tahiti you've probably heard of as well. Well, Bora Bora has the over-the-water bungalows, the dreamy vacation destination, the destination of all destinations is here in the French Polynesian Island. So I guarantee if you open up your standard desktop screensavers, you're going to find a photo of Bora Bora with the bungalows to say it's picturesque is a complete understatement. I mean, these islands are surreal. And where are these islands anyways? So if you think United States up here, Australia down here, if you go halfway to Australia, right there in the South Pacific Ocean, that's where you'll find the French Polynesian Islands. So literally, they are far from everything. It took me about eight and a half hours to fly from San Francisco to the French Polynesian Islands, so that gives you a pretty good idea how far you really have to go away from the mainland United States in order to get to the French Polynesian Islands. A little bit more information about the French Polynesian Islands and how they're laid out. If you're going to visit Bora Bora, let's say, that's probably most common for you. Many of you might be going for a honeymoon or you might just be going for a vacation, but all of your international flights are gonna fly into Tahiti, which is on the main island, and that's where you'll have your large, or large per se, international airport all of the flights will land here in Tahiti and then from Tahiti you can then take these small little puddle jumper planes which will get you to a few of the other islands the most common islands that people go to are Morea and then of course Bora Bora and there's a few others but the, but Bora Bora and Morea are the ones you're going to hear the most about if you're trying to decide how long should you stay in each area around the French Polynesian Islands? I'll give you a quick snapshot of what my itinerary was and I think you'll find it pretty helpful. When I first arrived in the French Polynesian Islands, I stayed in Tahiti for a couple nights and by a couple it was about two nights and I went and stayed in an Airbnb way up in the mountains. It was a super cool modern looking Airbnb that had an infinity pool that you could literally sit in the pool and look out across the whole island. So it was a stunning place to be and a perfect way to start off our trip. There are places, of course, you can stay in hotels and bungalows on Tahiti, but I wanted to get that mountain experience, and for me, I wanted to do it for a good price. I think I paid maybe $200 per night to have an Airbnb in a beautiful location like this. So if you have the time, explore Tahiti. There are some excursions you can do around the island. I'll put a link in the description below to what some of those are. And additionally, they have some good restaurants there. They have some cool oceanside restaurants that you can go hang out at. So then, if you wanna make your way over to Morea, that is an island that you can actually see from Tahiti. It's that close. And there's two ways you can get there. The first way is you can fly, like I mentioned earlier, and I think it's maybe 10 minutes you're in the air. So you literally go up and then go down right away. Or you can actually take the ferry across. Whether you have a car or you don't have a car, you can hop on this ferry and it takes a short amount of time to get you over to Morea. That's what I did and it was a really simple and easy experience. So you got a bunch of seating on the ferry, uh, there's toilets and basically a whole area to get food and drinks. So basically a water and a beer that's gonna cost you about 600 XPF, the conversion below. But yeah, 45 minute ride to get over to Morea. It, the good news is they do accept cards here. I still have not gone to the ATM yet since I've arrived and it's been almost 24 hours. But I think once you get onto the islands and you start doing excursions and things like that, then you need to start having a lot more uh, cash on you. Had I had a car, it would have been super easy too. I just drive that thing right on and voila, I'm on the ferry cruising over and I have a car when I'm in Morea. Luckily, my friends who were already in Morea had a car. So as soon as I got there to the ferry port, they picked me up in Morea and we went to what I'm going to tell you here, which is this amazing excursion. So this excursion was checking out the Morea Lagoon area and they take you on this little boat, get you across to this really unique place. I mean, it was just out of this world. This was like the first time I'd experienced the French Polynesian waters, how clear it all was. 
So for me, it was mind blowing to see how unbelievably beautiful this part of the world is. And it was a great way to start off my trip for the first time doing a little swimming. When you're at the Lagoonarium, you're swimming with fish, sharks, all of these different sea creatures, which is amazing. And the guides told us that we were completely safe being in there. Obviously, you don't want to mess with the sea animals. You kind of let them swim around you, but they like you because usually the guides are feeding them food. So it's pretty cool to spend some time there. Some people decide to stay in Morea for a couple days because they also have the over the water bungalows. Personally, I didn't stay there. I didn't see it as anywhere even close to as beautiful as Bora Bora. But that said, compared to many places around the world, it is unbelievably beautiful still. So if you have the time to stay in Morea, do it for a couple nights. You might think it's a blast, but I would do that first before Bora Bora because you wanna always do best for last. Otherwise, if you go to the best first, then you're gonna be thinking like, oh, I wish I was at this nicer spot. So just keep that in mind when you're planning when you're gonna go to these different spots. So after you've had your fun in Morea, it's time to head back to Tahiti and hop on a small little regional flight to get you over to Bora Bora. Bora Bora, I could literally speak to you about for hours. I mean, this is just an unreal place. Outside of being on the water, sitting on the beach, doing all types of tropical stuff, there's nothing else there. So you are in full relaxation mode, there's no distractions. The whole area is based on tourism, but it's not overpopulated with tourists because at the end of the day, it's Bora Bora. It is very expensive to go to, but you can do that on a budget. So there are ways to do that. I'm not gonna talk about them in detail in this video, but I'll put a link to my blog post which tells you everything you need to know about going to Bora Bora for cheap. But going back to Bora Bora itself, this is where you should spend the bulk of your time if you can. And you can stay in either over the water bungalows, they have oceanside uh, villas, or you can even do Airbnbs. That's an option in some areas around Bora Bora and it's much more economical, I can tell you that. So you have those options, but either way, there are so many things to do around that area. Just make sure to soak up the sun, those views, wake up for a sunrise, stay around for a sunset. You will love those different sides of Bora Bora and how it's lit up in these colors that are unbelievably beautiful. I don't wanna tell you too much in this video about Bora Bora because I just wanted to give you a quick snapshot. If you do want to see more visuals of Bora Bora, check out my 10 things to do in Bora Bora video below. I'll put a link in there for you guys as well. I have so much content on the French Polynesian Islands because they are so amazing. I really wanted to make sure I can dedicate all this time for you guys so you can be inspired to check this place out. And also for those of you that think it's not possible, once again, check out my blog post. That will show you exactly how to do Bora Bora for super, super cheap. All right guys, and that pretty much wraps up my short little French Polynesia travel guide. I wanted to give you a quick snapshot and I'll make it too long for you so you can get some bite-sized information. If you have any questions on the French Polynesian Islands or anything related to any of the things I've talked about in this video, drop a comment below. I would love to help you with your trip. And thanks so much. If you liked this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, and we'll see you in the next video.